So I want to create something that looks like a, a city, uh, but I don't have any reference or something in mind, so I will be free to explore Fractal and give it to my personal interpretation of shapes and then um, we will see uh, something about the shading and how to get materials over iteration. So let's just start with um, selecting our fractal. I'm going to use a uh, Uber Serpinski. Select the code and create a Vectron object. Delete the sphere. Paste the code. Hit compile. And there we are. So uh, let's start tweaking this formula. Uh, of course, you can use the sliders, or if you want to, um, if you want a more precise uh, option, you can also tweak with the arrows here. So, what I usually do for creating cities with this uh, Serpinski fractal is start tweaking the scale and the offset, but first you need the full 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 fold mode to be enabled. Looks like nothing is happening, but if you then change the box fold, you will see that the shape is different with the full fold mode enabled. So this is actually already looking uh, interesting, but is a little boring. So um, let's tweak the scale manager. All right. And the box fold. So this is also boring. Okay, I like this uh, thin part, so let's keep that. All right, uh, then let's just try to enable some option and see what, what's happening here. Okay, and then only now I start to tweak the offset. There's not really a reason for that. I'm just enjoying and tweaking my fractal. This is really cool. So, so as always, when I need uh, to understand the, the shape of the fractal, but I don't want to wait uh, for the for the render time, I switch to the normal kernel here and decrease the ray epsilon here in the octane settings. So just decrease that until you are happy with the detail level. This is looking really cool. And then when you have when you are happy with the, your camera, you can just go back to the uh, direct light, direct lighting kernel, and also here decrease the ray epsilon. So I like this uh, this parameter. Actually, we I was really lucky to find this after two minutes of tweaking. And, but it's also kind of boring because there's too much symmetry and uh, everything is perpendicular, parallel, it's boring. Um, so let's try to change some angles. You have to be careful with angles in this mode because it can be really, really... Um, strong it has a really strong effect on the overall shape of the fractal so just be gentle with these sliders 
this is also a look a cool looking shape let's just render this to understand what we have in front of us uh, what I usually do is switch to direct lighting uh, kernel and increase the um, the ray epsilon so I can see everything all right and uh, go full screen and just wait until it's uh, rendered go drink a coffee or something else and just wait so when you are back you can see and uh, start to think about oh whoa that's cool that looks like a church or this looks like a plant and you start to um, to think about how your scene could could be like and i find this really more more easy when you have uh, a big render with many details so this is looking nice but um, it's not what i want for this uh, um, for this render i want something like a city so well just to let you know that there's also this kind of thing on in with this formula so let's go back to our explore mode with the normal and i think that i will keep the rotation to zero um, so let's play with the offset all right i like this and the scale also is a, a different thing it's similar to the offset but it changes the scale so this is looking interesting and finally i have um, a magic parameter here which is called entropy so if you increase this you will see that the box let's go away the box that we had is start to looking different and if you have the entropy that is not equal to zero so something like this and then you change the entropy angles you will create a, you can create a loop with the angle but the cool thing is that in the corners you can create really strange and uh, without uh, symmetry shapes I mean, there's symmetry, but it's not boring like a flat symmetry. So, like I did before, let's just go full screen and find a good camera position. Maybe this could be a good one. And switch to the other kernel and just wait. okay i think uh i will keep this one i really like those structures here here there's um a lot of detail and it's fast to render so um, let's start to tweak and um, explore our light and material for this fractal so what i usually do is just create a octane daylight like this and um, let's move this and change the sun direction so this is the sun direction to something uh, i want to keep some shadow so so like an angle like this is usually bad because you don't have many shadow and contrast so let's keep that at the right okay for now i can keep this 
um, then let's see how this fractal reacts to the fractal material. So let's create a octane material and open the node editor. Let's close this. So this can be smaller. And what we need now is a gradient in the diffuse. So gradient, octane, gradient. And in the texture, we need a gradient txt, um, which is uh, just an OSL texture with uh, the code that you can find here in the gradient script. So it's just the same. Okay, let's change some um, the gradient colors. So uh, I usually load a preset from here. If you don't have this menu, you can find it by clicking here. Load preset and let's use this one. Okay, close and apply that to our Vectron. So it looks like that it's, it's not working because we have only one color. But um, the cool part now is that in your Vectron object, we have a parameter with uh, the color or iteration, U mode and U scale. And we can change that, of course. So let's try just to switch the mode. You have uh, four different modes here. So... I usually recommend you to try all uh, four mode and looks like it's always just one color. So let's stick with uh, U mode set to zero and change the U scale. And we saw that something happened. We start to have two different colors on the fractal you can also change the color on iteration so I, I'm, I've been playing with fractals for years and um, this color thing is still uh, I mean there's no right way to do it it's just tweak the the scale and the parameters until you you find uh, defined uh, colors over the fractal. One other thing that we can do is go in our gradient uh, gradient script and change the angle. So there we are. like that so we have two different colors and now we can also change our gradient to a rainbow one and also switch the interpolation to a step all right uh, i'm not too happy with this uh, color variation so i'm just going to change the u mode uh, hoping that something different will emerge. Not too much. There we go. Okay, so here we have three different colors. And let's start to map our material on each color. So the blue we have will have a material and the red will will have another kind of material so let's just start to. so i'm going to use uh, materials from the octane live db 
which is kind of slow sometimes and let's just use a uh, grass material because why not then uh, dirt material let's always always wait the download or it will crash sometimes and then I want to create a metallic material but I'm going to do that by myself so octane material let's switch to metallic and set the roughness to something around 0.1 okay and rename that to metallic all right so um let's say i want the blue part to be dirt so let's we need to create a mix material which will be um, and then we will use this gradient as mask for other materials so mix material let's call this um, dirt map and store the render buffer here so we can keep a reference for our color mapping and copy the the gradient and the OSL texture so you can set that to uh, the amount and <clears throat> in this case we want to keep the blue part so this means that this blue part will set will be set to uh, full white <clears throat> also this one and anything else in the middle will be just black so we can delete that and set this to black and black perfect um, now we have our map so we can copy our dirt material and let's organize this a little better so let's connect this dirt material to the first one and uh, metallic material to the material number two so like this and let's apply this mixed material to the fractal and as you can see we have material number one which is our dirt on the only on this part of the fractal so it was the blue part and we have material number two which is a metallic on anything else and in this way you can basically map anything um, you can go even uh, you can create even more uh, material stack using uh, this gradient so let's say that you want to map also the red part here and to do that we need to repeat this process so another mix material and let's copy again this so we can map the red oops and the red part is this one so set this to black this also to black and anything else delete uh, black black and this one should be white all right and we cre let's create a new material just um red one so we can see where we are mapping our mix material let's drag this new octane 
mixed material on the Vectron fractal. Okay, so we are not in the right position now uh, because we've with this gradient map we are um, in overlay with the old map here so we need to invert that I hope yeah and this thing here could be maybe uh, instead of a red material it could be a grass material so just drag that and select the material and there you go you have some grass you have some dirt material and you have some metallic material here it's not the best scene ever but um, can look cool for sure so uh, I find the dirt material a little boring because it's really flat so what we can do is add some turbulence uh, to this because it's really boring so open the dirt material and in the diffuse uh, there's a dirt texture <coughs> that maybe needs a project projection projection sorry I don't know how to say that uh, let's set that to box and play with the with the aspect ratio but first yeah we are not going to see any difference uh, so let's change the material a little bit this is way too more way too complex we don't need all this complexity so there you go you can see now that if you connect directly the dirt texture to the diffuse channel you will see the the box projection working All right. Um, let's switch to the path tracing kernel, which looks more cool, of course. And as always, set the GI clamp to one, just because you have to do that in Octane. I don't know why. Uh, and max samples to 128 oh sorry and also the ray epsilon let's decrease that so until we are happy with the detail that we have sorry so ray epsilon I want that part to be really thin like that And then we can start to create an octane camera. And what I want to do is um, a macro filling. So in the octane camera, octane camera tag and depth of field, we can change the aperture and then pick the focal the focus points then of course the the lenses that i'm using on this camera is not uh, really the best one for this type kind of composition so let's change that and switch back to the normal kernel and let's go for a less wide lens like 300 
so everything looks more more tiny okay let's try with this one set the focal point here and in the octane camera change the aperture yeah something like that looks nice and i'm just going for a big render so um, path tracing uh, if you want you can add some um, post processing in the octane camera tag the bloom power I still don't like this uh, there's I need more details so I'm going to change a little bit the the fractal parameter Okay, let's just see what we have. So I'm going to render this at full screen. And let's wait a few minutes. At least I have to wait. So this is uh, how it looks after five minutes. Uh, it's not bad, but of course it's not one of my best uh, fractal image. But I hope you get the idea about how to create and, and map different uh, materials. Um, of course, you can add some volume in the background and some clouds with... Um, you can do that with also volumes or just use Photoshop. And I want to show you a more advanced uh, setup that I did yesterday with... Um, always complex shaders and um, color on iteration mapping so this is the same fractal uh, just with different parameters uh, I usually spend like one hour just to find a good shape so uh, take your time and uh, only when you are really happy with the the shape of the fractal start uh, adding more materials and what i did here is the same um, uh, gradient mapping so let's see the material so this is my uh, what i call uber material because it has really everything um, it looks complicated but it's not uh, most of the thing is just uh, different maps like diffuse specular roughness so uh, standard octane stuff and it's a combination of uh, three different mixed material so to achieve this kind of uh, variety and um, for, for example we have uh, we have the grass here and if you go to the grass material you will find out that there's just an image texture with the grass and then um, <clears throat> it's um there's a mixed texture with the marble node uh, to get some different color variation and then we combine this grass material with a marble material which is the white one and uh, we want to map the the grass only on the top so um, you can just use a fall off map and set the fall off mode to uh, 90 degree and you will get the grass only on top then there's um, this red marble material which is uh, only in some part of the fractal 
and this is why this is because uh, we have a gradient mapping based on the iteration number so I think that if we reload this and you set that to solo node yeah you will see that uh, the gradient here the red part is only in some part and this is thanks to this uh, gradient mapping and I just did the same for everything until I get this nice composition and as it's up to you so you can map different materials uh, I like it the marble uh, ones marble one uh, this time then uh, I just added some volume so uh, this is a standard octane volume with uh, some noise so there's some cloud clouds uh, but this is a kind of complicated setup and I did that in the same way um, I did the tutorial one it's just a different and more uh, defined um, way of doing fractal art so um, of course you can zoom in change the camera angle and render this again so five minutes later well for you just a few seconds uh, we have our nice render and we can see all the beauty of the marble mapped here and another kind of marble here and the grass only on top of the fractal then of course the depth of field helps a lot and uh, uh, light up your scene also uh, helps light is everything in octane uh, so you can get nice detail here and here um, it's a pretty cool scene this one and I just want to show you uh, from how I started building this um, uber material so I'm going to create as always just an octane material with um, the gradient mapping So diffuse gradient and gradient again and let's use a rainbow and apply this to um, to Vectron object and again everything looks blue but you have to change the gradient angle here in the script like this so um, then it's really easy to uh, map the blue so uh, you have one one material on the blue part, one other material on the yellow part, but that's uh, all basic octane um, material mapping. So uh, what I what I did is just use uh, this gradient here as mask for all the mixed materials so for instance I have the blue here and uh, when you if you want to convert this blue uh, gradient 
this gradient to um, a mask, you need to set the blue to white and anything else just to black. So like in the in this amount here, you can uh, map each color using this way of black and white. And the results are really, really cool. And of course, uh, every uh, material that has a texture, you have to set the the pro projection to a box. So you will see all the details uh, of the texture on the fractal because it's not a normal object. As you can see, there's nothing here. It's not a geometry object. And that's pretty much it. I hope you understood my process and you can uh, repeat that. So this is not really a tutorial. I'm not to use it uh, doing tutorials, but it's more like a story to tell you how I create these fractals. And I hope you will uh, learn something. Uh, maybe you will have a different approach and that's cool. So uh, you will create your own style of uh, fractal art and um, all, all your knowledge of Octane and Cinema 4D so you can mix it with um, a standard geometry like uh, you can add trees in there, you can add a waterfall or really whatever you want, some dragons flying and it's really up to you. And there's many other tutorial on uh, YouTube uh, to learn Cinema 4D and Octane. So uh, just start exploring. Uh, 